Hey folks, how you doing? So, um, just finished up here at the Privilege Store. Um, this building here on the left with the green roof. Uh, yeah, it's like a Chinese type, type style green roof. I call it the Privilege Store because it has like imported items like that store in North Korea that has all the imported items. Um, but really, the, the imported items there, you wouldn't find a lot of them at Tesco or Big C or Tops or any of the other kind of Thai grocery stores. So, um, sometimes it's good to go there just to get some different uh, items. Anyway, um, so I was leaving here and I was going, uh, I was on my way up to uh, Cozy Beach and I saw something. Um, gee, yeah, it's a lot of, it's a lot of uh, traffic this morning in South Padia. Police are out here. Uh, it is a Friday, um, but it's it's like uh, late morning on a Friday. I guess it's around 10:30, 11 o'clock in the morning, something like that. But you know, the buses, everything. Um, actually, it's bad in the mornings because you got this big market down here. I think this big um, this big like wet market down here draws a lot of people. Anyway, I, I was on my way to uh, Cozy Beach, and I saw something that I didn't know about. And I don't know how long it's been like this. It's it's some um, road construction where they have a, a, a main junction closed that would would really affect a lot of people. Um, so I thought I would uh, make a quick video and show you this. I'll, here again, I don't know how long it's been this way, and I don't know how long it will be this way. It looks fairly temporary. Um, well, you can judge for yourself when you see it, because I'm going to show it to you here in a bit um, as we meander through South Patia here. But um, it, if you live in Jom Tien, if you live up on Pratham Nak Hill, Cozy Beach, anywhere up, anywhere up that way, it could, it will affect you uh, if you're coming down the Walking Street or South Patia um, the way you would normally come. So we're going to start out here on uh, turning left on Second Road. We just got off Patia Thai. This is Second Road. Uh, Walking Street would be off to our left here. These are the bot buses on the on, on the left. I'm sorry, Walking Street's on the right. The bot buses are on the left, um, which is still where you get your bot bus to go back uh, to Jom Tian or wherever. Down here, you're going to see this black van uh, pulling out right here, trying to pull out. This road is going to be important later, so remember that. That's Sui Sipchet. That's where Sui Sipchet em empties out on the Second Road. Um, so that'll be significant later. But we'll go up here and I'll show you kind of uh, the nexus of all this. Um, dude. Anyway. Um, so the main intersection coming down from Pratanak Hill or around uh, to Praia Road from Jom Tien is closed. Uh, and the, it, the reason it's closed is because the whole, um, I guess, us. Uh, northbound lane over here is closed right up here you'll see the road construction on the right notice the bot bus coming here to our left they have rerouted the bot bus so the bot bus will come around i'll show you where that is so you can see what's going on over here on to the right and they're only allowing southbound traffic here and it looks like they are digging the whole road out they've they've taken the blacktop up they're digging the uh, big uh the whole lane they're digging a big trench and they're putting in these sewers you can see them these white uh, cement big sp cement blocks of uh, sewer pipe and I don't know it looks like they've been working on this for a while already and I don't know if they've had this closed the entire time I don't know if it will remain closed the entire time but it looks like uh, they still have a lot to do they, they there is a uh, more of these pieces sitting here um, so I, some of this area doesn't look dug up yet just looks like uh, they've taken the blacktop off and they haven't really dug the ditch yet uh, this is the way you would go back anyway if you were going back to Jom Tien um, Pratamnak people though would want to go straight back there they're not going to be able to do that they're going to have to go the longer way around uh, but for Jom Tien people this is the way you would go home anyway so going home isn't as bad it's not mu as much of a, dr as a disruption for the Jom Tien people going home uh, the Pratamnak people, they, yeah, they're going to have to kind of go around because they would have went straight back there. But I'm going to go to the top of Pratamnak Hill, and then we'll come down, and I'll show you um, kind of what that looks like from that angle. So let's, uh, here we are. Okay. So coming down, we just crested Pratamnak Hill to turn off for Cozy Beach we just passed. Uh, on the left up here, uh, on the edge of the cliff is where the patio sign is. And these are these kind of dangerous... Um, curves in this road it's kind of double banked when it's wet this can be very dangerous on a bike and it is rainy season it could rain any minute but 
Yeah, you got to be careful here on, on a bike coming down. There's a couple real, uh, a real gotcha turns uh, that you got to slow down for. But this is the this is the last turn, and this is where you would go straight and go under this uh, overpass down here and just keep going straight in to get into South Patia, Walking Street, wherever you're going. But now, as you can see, it is closed. It's all blocked off. Um, so all the traffic, nobody can go straight here. Everybody has to turn right. The people from Jom Tian, which will be coming down here from our right, instead of them making the right and going straight, they're now going to have to make kind of a U-turn, where they may, might not even come that way now. They might be able to uh, cut over early, but they'll have to go this way too eventually. Um, so nobody can go down that, that road. So everybody has to go down third road here. This is like the side the side service road of third road i guess the real third road's up here the elevated part that goes to valley high pier but this will all merge up here in a second and then it's uh it's third road all the way north uh take you all the way to the north patio but um th th there's a couple ways here you can go uh, the way that it looks like they've rerouted the bot the bot bus is um there is a 7-eleven uh, up here i believe it's soy 18 and I'll try to slow this down to catch the uh, the 7-Eleven. But Soy 18, and that road, you can go that road, but it's it's right here. It's it's kind of narrow, and there's always not much room on that road. If you're in a car or something, I don't know that I would go that way. Plus, now you're going to have the bot bus stopping every 10 feet, um, because that, that's where that bot bus uh, has been rerouted and you saw it I showed it to you earlier come up where when we were coming up second road where it was coming out I would just go down here to this light just a little bit farther and this is soy sip chat which I believe is also known as soy 16 I believe and make a nice casual left-hand turn here and that will take you down to second road where that black van was coming out the one I showed you I said hey look where that black van's coming out so that's probably um, your best bet uh, and that road, uh, there's no free lunch here either in terms of traffic. Uh, that that road's always bumper to bumper too, especially in the evenings that can be uh, murder. But uh, I think it's still better than that other one. That other one has a lot, of bars, a lot of bars, I think. And just, it's real narrow and it has a bunch of uh, activity on it. So that's your options. Um, it's a little, you can be kind of mentally prepared now that you know about this. I'm not sure how long it's been like that or how long it will be, but... I'm going straight down here to Sui Lanky, uh, so thanks for watching and uh, bye for now.